Hi guys, hello and welcome to Ninja BBB. I am a Duguma for I am the freshness, the royal freshness and convener of this elite gang. Yeah, okay, don't mind me, I'm trying to get cocky. But if you haven't subscribed, you should, guys. Subscribe. I know you'd like this if you just stumbled on this. I know you would enjoy it. So you have to subscribe for more of the videos. And of course, you have to go and see all, all the other videos. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up. And of course, drop your comments below and let me know. And then, of course, follow me on Instagram because that's what's popping. That's what's happening, you know, on Instagram. So, um, in one of my last posts, I talked about how sad I was that Game of Thrones is coming this year, 2018. It's rumored that HBO will not be releasing Game of Thrones this year, but next year, 2019. I really hope it's a stunt, but I'm so loyal to them because it's Game of Thrones, like, you know, so no matter what happens, I'm still gonna watch it whenever it comes out. So I gave a list of other series and movies I was hoping to watch in 2018, and, you know, it was just, you know, a movie out for me because i'm like that so today's episode i'm still talking movies but this time i'm talking about movies that have been adapted from books so there are a lot of them not quite a number of them and i have a secret to share with you today so Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I have the three Fifty Shades book. I have Fifty Shades of Grey, I have Fifty Shades Darker, and I have Fifty Shades Freed. I went and searched for this book, guys. I did, like, consciously. The thing is, whenever I see a movie that I really like, I usually just go on Wikipedia and read up on it. And then during the course of reading up, I find out that there's a book. I'm gonna hunt that book down. That's what I do, you know? The first time I watched Harry Potter, I was still in, I think I was still in secondary school. I had just finished secondary school. And I saw Harry Potter, I'm like, oh, believe me, I have all seven books of them in my email. I have all the seven books. There's just this excitement that goes with the idea you know when you read the books and then you watch this this imagination of yours actually come to life i think that's the appeal for me i really love it so i i, I read the eclipse books all of them uh, of course i've read 50 shades i read you know the lord of the rings book is quite bulky i have i think one the, no is it lord of the rings or the one before but i have like one or two of the books i haven't been able to finish it because it's just too long i'm sorry but i really enjoy the idea of you know the characters in my head and then watching them come to life but the thing is most of them do not come to life on screen the way we imagine them in our head Case in point, Fifty Shades. Man, I read the books. When I watched the first Fifty Shades, I really, I was like, oh my god, I'm interested. Let me go and see the movie, the book. So when I watched it, it was really nice. The music and stuff, you know, I was really impressed. I liked dialogue and I said, oh, okay, there's a book. Let me go watch the book. Obviously, when I went to Wikipedia, I found out there was a book. So I went and found the book. And then I read it. It was even it was even more and you know engaging in the books the songs i'd go and check out the songs you know their their love story wasn't the conventional hollywood story it was more nollywood than hollywood you know rich man finds girl beats her up she accepts him and they marry it's very prevalent in our society here so i watched i, I read it and then i was really waiting for the second one and then i saw the second one i was like it was terrible the movie second movie was terrible you know i'm so glad i didn't go to the cinema to watch it if i had i probably would have cried out of anger and disappointment in the cinema hall so i'm glad i did not so then i'm waiting for the third one this year it's gonna be out in february this year i want to see what's gonna look like i don't have high hopes because the second one was not really nice so i'm still gonna watch it because i'm a fan you know the same way i felt about the eclipse series the 
movie wasn't all that but the books were really nice you know and then the other one with Matt Damon the uh, ooh, what's the action movie the Bond series I loved the book I watched it I loved the book still it was really nice so you'd be surprised you know Stephen King has a lot of adaptations Daniel Steele is having some adaptations but the thing with Daniel Steele is somehow it's always a B-list thing. Her movies are always a B-list thing. So you might not enjoy them as much as if it were an A-list cast. So, But Daniel Steele is getting a lot of her movies adapted. Nora Roberts is getting out a lot of her movies adapted. So it's really nice. You know, book to movie adaptations are great. You should. If you love to read books, when you see a movie that has a book, just want to read it. You get more entertainment and you make, get more value you know in the end so really nice so okay so i'm sure you enjoyed it tell me of all your book to movie adaptations one you've seen comment in the box tell me am i weird to have this am i weird i'm not i actually do read i still read the books because they're really interesting compared to the movies so tell me what you think in the comment box and of course follow subscribe like and of course come back for more i love you guys bye